One of the most impressive traits about yourself, I feel, is your confidence and the relaxed air that you have about yourself. And I'm curious to know more about that, mainly because you mentioned earlier that when you were younger, you had low, low self-esteem. And if I look at you today, I could not even imagine that. Um, I don't know, I think maybe life's experiences um, give you confidence after some time you, uh, you know, I mean, uh, you come to terms with uh, what life has offered you and then you decide that, look, um, I need to do something about, uh, I mean, everybody needs to, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I, I think um, there came a point when I decided that, um, that I need to do more with my life uh, and I uh, took that chance and I did more with my life and uh, maybe that gave me the confidence and also I found that you know as you grow older you um, uh, I don't know maybe everyone doesn't but at least I have I definitely have gained confidence much more I mean I'm, um, I think I know myself better. So once you know yourself, then you can you gain that confidence because then you don't need outside factors, outside people to to give you that because you have it within you. Mm -hmm. So what did you discover about your? What did you? What do you know about yourself? I know that I, I um, you know, if I need some healing. I can do it myself. I don't really need to go to a shrink or to, you know, I find the healing in, in life, in, in nature, mm -hmm. in um, whatever uh, situations have come my way and um, good or bad, you know, those, those situations have now made me think I, I relax, I think back, and I, um, I don't judge, but I accept. Mm -hmm. And um, because of that, I can carry on with my life, and with my paintings, with I have uh, three wonderful children, I have a great husband, and I have uh, three lovely little uh, grandchildren. And all those things, you know, it's, it's, it's quite an achievement. And I feel very happy that, uh, that I've achieved all this in my life, which for me, you know, it's, 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 it's wonderful. And then even being able to express myself through my art, it, um, all these things give one confidence. Mm -hmm. So that turning point came, that turning point that you mentioned earlier, where it seems that you made a deliberate decision mm -hmm. to transform, mm -hmm. to take on something new. Mm -hmm. Could you share a bit about that moment? Actually, it wasn't just one moment. You know, as you go through life, there are different moments. Either you break down or you carry on. And uh, when you, you can, I mean, it's not that I've never broken down. But um, I picked myself up and then you carry on and you carry on and on and on and you, um, again, either you become a much more confident person or less so. And um, I suppose I've been lucky. Mm -hmm. There hasn't been any one moment in my life where I've suddenly gained confidence. No, it hasn't been like that. It's been over the years. And in a country like Pakistan, mm -hmm. although you are exposed to so much, and as you mentioned, the honor killings and the instability in the country, there is also a community. And um, I personally feel it's the community and connections that you have that allow a person to, to keep going, moving forward. Yes, actually, um, I think a lot of people have 
a great misunderstanding about uh, Pakistan. You know, what they see um, on television, what they read about us, is there. I'm not saying it's not there. But there's another side to Pakistan as well, the softer side. And uh, the more educated side, the more liberal side, you know. And um, there are many, many people like, uh, like me there. And uh, so, so, so actually, I wish more people could come and, and, and see you. You know, I mean, I, I drive around there. I, uh, we have our dinner parties. We, we have balls. We dance. We, 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 I mean, uh, there's, we really work very hard to educate ourselves. And we go to some of the top universities all over the world. And um, uh, our people can be very, very hardworking. So there is that side to our uh, people as well. Mm. How would you describe a year in your life? It sounds to me like you're traveling around the world, you're exhibiting your art, you're visiting your family, you're doing it all. And you're doing it all successfully. Hmm, <laughs> yes. Actually, um, the biggest release for me is painting. So, um, so wherever I go, I uh, tell, like if it's to my kids, if I go to visit them, two of them are living abroad. Or my husband spends a lot of time uh, abroad as well. Um, I live more in Pakistan, but then I travel to various places. But wherever I go, I tell them, I said, look, if I'm coming for more than 10 days, you have to give me space of um, maybe just four feet by four feet, not six by six yet, thank God. <laughs> but four feet by four feet, I mean, just to lay my paintings out, put my canvas and paint. Because then I can um, enjoy my holiday, but at the same time, I. Uh, I I like to get my tension out or my relief, uh, relief from uh, from the world. And, you know, I mean, I, I just like to get into my own world, mm -hmm. and I like to paint. And uh, yeah, so so I don't mind traveling as long as I I can do what I love. So that's your time and your space and your sanctuary. Yes, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And. Um, you know, uh, if I can be offered that, I'm happy. I, I, I in fact, uh, I don't like my, uh, uh, you know, the brushes and the paints to be removed mm -hmm. because I want that little corner to myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, because if it's all removed, then it's such a hassle to bring it all back into place again every day. So I, I, I say that, look, uh, this place is mine. And so even if I go for a couple of months, I might go for one month, wherever, I have the little area which is mine. That's beautiful. That is definitely a must. I completely relate to that. Mm -hmm. I'm curious as well, you travel so much. Where is uh, one of your favorite places in the world? Actually, it depends. It depends. Uh, uh, what I'd like to do, you know, at that particular point, you know. If I uh, want to go to the beaches, then I, I love Spain. We go to Marbella very often. If um, I want um, uh, to sort of uh, watch a lot of, go to see plays and movies, then I prefer to go to an English-speaking country where I can understand uh, the language and I can relate to the, uh, the theater, because it's, it's in English. Uh, then I think there's nothing like New York. And uh, so I, I love going there. And if it's just nature and beauty on its own, just wild beauty, then Kuala Lumpur, or even in our own country in Pakistan, if I go up north, it's um, nothing is man-made. It's all wild, it's, it's beautiful amongst the highest mountains in the world. 
to valleys, to greenery, to, 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 to you know, snow-capped mountains, and um, to natural beauty. In fact, the roads are so narrow that it's sometimes a bit frightening to, to, to go to these places, you know. And um, they have these um, glaciers, you know. Uh, like, you're going on the road, and suddenly that road is no more a road, it's a glacier. So you're going over that, and then you come to the road. Oh my you know, goodness, yeah. wow. So it can be a bit frightening, mm. but once you reach your destination, I mean, it's just so, so beautiful that it's uh, worth uh, taking that risk. It's not really a risk, but I, I, I get a bit frightened at times. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Pakistan is so rich in beauty. I visited a few times. My mom lives in Lahore, as you know. Yes. And I have seen a little bit of it. And it's such a shame that the rest of the world doesn't really is not really aware of the beauty it has to offer. Uh, you think of Pakistan, and you think of the state of affairs of the of the, the economy and the polit political climate, and then it stops there. Mm -hmm. But then. Beyond that, there's so much more. There is, there really is, yes. Mm. So you've traveled quite a bit around Pakistan? Then. Yes, I've traveled a lot around Pakistan. And, um, and it isn't as bad as you know, it's made out to be, or it seems. But yes, there are certain parts which uh, even I, as a Pakistani, I wouldn't go to those places. Mm. But uh, generally speaking, most cities are very safe. But there are certain areas which are not safe, where women are not expected to be without covering themselves totally. Mm -hmm. And they can't go alone to those places. So I wouldn't venture there either. And you're based in Karachi? I'm based in Karachi, yes. Where you are the director of the Arts Council? Well, yes, yes. I mean, I, um, it's it's more an honorary job. I mean, it's not something that I uh, go to. Uh, I don't go to work every day. We uh, we try to see how we can uh, improve things. And um, now, having lived in so many other countries abroad, um, namely London, New York, for example, how different is one's lifestyle in Karachi. In a city like New York, you can step outside and feel free to walk on the street. I know in Karachi, uh, you don't exactly walk out on the streets. Yeah, that's true. If you want to go for a walk, for example, you go to the park. There are parks where there are men, women, they go for walks. But just stepping out and, and um, going out every day for a, for a walk on the streets, is not really advisable, but uh, we go shopping, we go alone, we, it's fine. I don't have to cover my hair, mm -hmm. I, um, I can dress the way I want. I, I may not necessarily, I wouldn't wear what I'm wearing right now. Mm -hmm. I would just take a little stone, um, just in case somebody takes offense to what I'm wearing, you know, so, so. But, um, but I drive, I, um, we, can, we, we party a lot, we, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a normal life, except one has to be a bit careful. Yes. That's there. What that the, freedom is not there, total freedom is not there. So what are the precautions you have to take? Um, I, I've heard of kidnappings taking place quite often in, in Lahore, for example, you have uh, intruders coming to your home with guns and does this happen in Karachi as well? Uh, it happens there as well, yes it does. It does happen. Um, so one, I suppose you, you just have to be careful. You have to, um, a lot of us have guards in our homes. Uh, you know, we, um, we lock our doors, we don't keep them open. So one has to take these sort of 